What's up guys, it's Jeremy, Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I am super, super excited to be taking my vlogging, my video, everything that I'm doing for you guys up a whole new level. So I have this amazing Amazon box and we are gonna unbox it and I'm gonna show you what I got going on right now. What's going on guys? Okay, so I have decided that everything that I've done so far was on my iPhone, my iPhone 7 Plus, my iPhone X now. And although it's been awesome, I've been dealing with some storage issues and really just wanting to be able to have my phone with me when I need it rather than having to decide if I'm either gonna vlog with it, uh, do videos or anything like that. The convenience of the iPhone was awesome, but it's, it's time to change. So we're gonna do a cool unboxing, everything I got from Amazon um, a couple days ago shot a few weddings so now i'm able to actually open this up and show you guys what i got so I'm, I'm super excited we're gonna make this very very simple and awesome guys so i'm starting with the canon uh eos m6 um i've been doing a ton of reviews so if you guys are looking for anything to vlog your um daily vlogs or your videos i highly recommend everything i'm about to show you just get um obviously you guys know i'm a photographer i love everything about um, cool gear. So um, I did my research and I'll tell you why I got what I got. We'll do a quick setup of this and you guys can see everything. This is the Canon 11 to 22 um, EFM made for the Canon um, M6 EOS, the, M, the, the Canon series. And uh, this is 11 to 22 millimeter, so super wide. Um, image, stab image stabilization built right into this, which is very important because I will be using a Gorillapod for everything. So I'm not gonna use a stabilizer. Um, I have a video micro from Rode. Uh, this is awesome. This is going to be the bane of my existence. I'll tell you guys right now as we go through. I have this cool little adapter. It's a straight flash bracket. Um, old school photographers would use this a lot. I'm, I'm, I don't know if new school photographers do it. I've never seen it. But basically, it allows you to put your camera on one side and a flash on another side. Or maybe a trigger. Anything with a hot shoe that you need to hold that maybe you can't hold on top. So possibly put a flash on top of your camera and a flash to the side. I don't know. Something like that. Um, that's everything in there. So we're gonna unbox this, open it up. The goal with this, guys, is that I throw everything onto a um, gorilla pod and I can run around and vlog and show you guys what's going on in my daily life. I'm gonna start doing weekly vlogs for you. Um, it's gonna be difficult for me because I am very weird about talking in front of other people. So I don't necessarily want to have the camera up while I'm walking around. I'm gonna go to my comfort zone and try to do that for you guys and show you and then edit anywhere from like a 10 to 15 minute video every week to show you what's going on because as you know, I'm very, very anal about things like that and I have to have time limits to everything. So we're gonna unbox this uh, Canon EOS M6 first. And of course we have a manual and I will be going through this manual. The re Also the other reason I picked the Canon is because I know everything about Canon there is from my 5D Mark four, three, two, uh, 70, 60 plus, 60 plus, 6D that I had. So um, everything looks similar on it, but still we'll go through the manual to figure out anything that we need to figure out. Maybe just do a quick briefing, a quick read. Um, your charger for your battery. Of course you gotta have that. And then oh, the battery. I have a little charging station in my office, which is cool. And then the Canon strap, which we will not use, never use. Um, if you guys follow any of my stuff, you know that I use Peak Design Systems. This strap is, I mean, you can throw it on if you want, wrap it around your wrist, but nothing around my neck. I want a, a long career in photography and I don't want my neck to be the reason that I stop. Oh yeah, guys, I'm excited. I am excited for this. It's always new gear, right? I mean, you know. I picked this camera off of the reviews. Oh my God, look at that, guys. Let's see if I can bring it closer to you. Scope this thing out. I picked the silver, so it has a little silver lining. There's no battery on it, of course. Um, I picked this for a couple reasons. Uh, first off, it's Canon. I know everything about Canon. Um, the main reason is that it has an interchangeable lens, so I can put different lenses on it if I need to. I, my goal is leaving one lens on this and I don't have to change it. Um, the other thing is it does have manual mode. It does have AV mode, TV mode. Um, I'm also able to quick change. So I had a little Canon before that a lot of my girls play with now that this is gonna replace. I'm deciding if I'm gonna sell that one or not. 
but basically it's a quick change with the uh, exposure compensation up top. Basically means that whatever settings you leave your camera at, it's an auto adjusting setting. So I'm not gonna be doing manual on this, but if it's too bright all the time, then I can just bring it all down one stop, two stop, three stop. That's why I picked this. Um, there's a hot shoe mount as well. And then also the main reason is that this baby will turn around. So vlogging is super important. As my iPhone here, I can see everything I'm doing, but I'm looking into the lens and not you guys, not myself. But basically I can hold this baby out just like this and see what I'm doing and still be able to vlog. Pretty cool, right? Uh, this thing's awesome. One wish that I did have, Canon, if you're watching this, this thing should have been mounted out. It should, instead of lifting up like this, it should be able to go out and you guys will see why in two seconds, okay? We got this baby. So I'm gonna put this right over here. I still have to charge the battery so I can't really set it up yet. We're gonna open up the lens right now. So again, this is 11 to 22, it's a wide angle lens. The kit lens that does come with this, I think it's like an 18 to 50, not wide enough for what I need. Again, I wanna hold it right in front. I love the wide angle lenses. If you guys watch my videos, you guys will see that. I am a creature of habit. I know what I like and I get what I want. Cool. All right, so this thing is not too big, which is what I like. This will stay on my camera pretty much all day. 11 to 22, uh, it has a stop of f4 to f5.6, which is awesome. I really don't need anything lower than that um, because I'm not doing stills with this camera at all. I actually don't know much about the still, but I'm doing this for video primarily for vlogging. So this will be my only reason for this camera. I'm not gonna be shooting stills on this. I will always have my, my DSLR for that just because I have a little bit more control. So we're gonna put our lens right on this. Oh man, they do it a little differently on this, huh? So we're just gonna do a little twist on. I can't really see what I'm doing right now, but look how compact and small that thing is. I'm used to big bulky cameras. This is awesome to have this small little baby on here. fits in the palm of my hand. So I'm gonna put a little gorilla pod on the bottom and we're able to hold it and vlog just like that. Lift this baby up, okay? So the other thing that I needed for this was audio because the on-camera microphone on this, horrible, horrible, horrible thing. We wanna make sure that people can hear us well and especially if wind goes around. So that leads us to the next thing, right? Maybe I'll put this here for you guys to see. See that on my junk? Now we're gonna go to the uh, Video Micro. This is a Rode. Um, this is the baby brother to the normal one that everybody sees, the Video Mic. I'm horrible with boxes, man. Everything was ordered through Amazon. I will put a link to everything that I purchased on this for you. We have our dead cat, which I still love the name of. I'm uh, new to the video world. Um, I've always done stills and I've always kind of been not necessarily scared of video, but scared of video. So the biggest thing is audio and I'm starting to embrace it a little bit, not professionally, but just with this. So in the dead cat, you have your, pull this out. We have our microphone, right? We have our dead cat. This goes right into there and then this will, stop the wind from coming in we have a little bit of a cord and then we have this is a shock um, absorber shock absorber that goes on your hot shoe so how they want us to do this guys is I'm gonna take off this protector here for now I'm gonna put that on in a sec is this goes into here okay I'm not gonna put this on fully because I'm gonna show you guys your microphone goes into here like so now the issue is and if you guys have watched these videos I've watched a ton on how to resolve this when you put this up, it doesn't fully go up. And the issue is, is that this is a touch screen and it will not react until it flips full vertical to touch the screen, right? So if you have it this way, the screen shows this way, but when I flip it up, I need the screen to flip horizontally, um, ver vertically, horizontally, upside down in order for me to see myself. I can't do it this way because of anything that goes on top won't let it which is why if it were able to swivel out, this would solve the problem right away. I could have Gorillapod, mic, record, boom, rock it out, have a good day. I can't do that anymore. Leads us to the next thing that we had to purchase. And put this back on because I like clean stuff to stay clean as long as I can, which is the uh, straight flash bracket 
Dude, everything's so open, easy to open right now. Nothing's set. So you got your bracket, right? I can put my camera in here through the shoe or through the, uh, the threaded area. And then I have a hot shoe, cold shoe, sorry, cold shoe. Nothing's going through it. So what I'm going to have to do is take my camera and install this thing right into here. And it's just a regular mount. There's also another thread below. So that's where I can put my um, Gorillapod. So Gorillapod will go right under here and I'm filming using my Gorillapod so I can't show you guys that. But it'll go right here. I can hold my Gorillapod and still record. But also, we can get this baby right onto here. I have to move this over a little. I want it as close to each other as possible because, or just at least to the edge here. Um, the only thing I don't like about this setup is how big it's gonna look. I really wish I could have, they, they would have just done that right. Um, a lot of people are, if you go on YouTube, a lot of people have um, ways to like manually or, you know, hack a, a microphone here. I just, I'm not a big fan of that. I just, you know, I, I buy new things and I want it to work right. I've always been like that, which is why I went from Sony to Canon originally. So we're gonna tighten this baby on here. There we go. Just gotta tighten that bad boy. So what this is meant for originally is anything with a cold shoe. So basically if you had a DSLR, um, you could put your camera here and your flash here, vice versa. All right, and then we just have our microphone here. And we're gonna plug, I guess it doesn't matter, huh? I guess we're gonna plug one side into here. Money. Stretch this out. There we go. And I want it out, yep, right in that little groove there. Perfect. And then we're gonna plug this in the back. Awesome. So some of the hacks that people were doing was you could put some um, Velcro here, attach it to the side right here, and then it would just stick out from right there. You don't have to use this bracket. I, again, not a fan of that. Um, I'm also not a fan of how flimsy this is. So I'm gonna play with this, see how it works. Um, let's throw El Dead Gato on this. This is cat in Spanish. Perfect. And that is my vlogging setup, guys. How baller is that? That looks awesome. So I'm gonna walk around with this kind of hanging out with me and we'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. So you guys will see some vlogs coming up. I'll keep you guys updated on this. I'll do maybe like a month review of this after I kind of play with a little bit. But um, let me know if you guys try this and how it works for you. So again, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if this helps in any way. Comment below if you guys have any questions. If you found a better way to get the mic on here that opens it up, I'd love to hear about it. Let me know. This is my resolution for now, and I think it'll work for a while. Uh, but we'll just play with it and see what we got. Have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later.